What's up everyone, I'm Callum on Toast and in today's video I've got multiple insane wins with a great league team in the Master League Premier Classic. This is part 2 so if you've not seen part 1 yet then I strongly recommend you go check out that video. But if you have seen that video then you'll know that we did manage to get a win in that video but I wasn't satisfied with that one win. I was hungry for more but I also wanted to get the video out before the Master League Premier Classic went away. So of course on the exact same day that I uploaded that video I did a couple more sets running a great league team and I managed to get three more wins including back to back victories for my 999th and 1000th Master League win which is incredible it's certainly not something that i planned for but it's really cool that that's how things turned out and as well on the final day of the master league premier classic being around i managed to finally come across the triple flyer team which you'll know is the exact team that i built my team to try and hard counter so you're going to see how it gets on against that team but before we do any of that, let's start with the question of the day. For the final Go Battle Day of this interlude season, Mega Pokemon are finally going to be available to use, but only in the level 50 Master League. So my question of the day is going to be, if you could use any Mega Pokemon in the Great or Ultra League, which Pokemon would you be most excited to use and why? Going back to today's video, you may have noticed that I've now got Shadow Mawile in the lead instead of the Hisuian Electrode, and that's because I think Dragonite is the more common lead of the three triple flyers, so that's why I'm running it in the lead, and you're going to see it absolutely paid off in today's video, so I'm really glad I made that change. But with that being said, let's just get into the battles now. So as we go into the battles, I'm going to be playing them back in 1.5 times the regular speed instead of the normal two times speed that I do just because there's only three of them and as well they're fairly quick battles considering they're in the Master League with Great League Pokemon but in the first battle we lead into a Dragonite so that's the dream lead we do lag at the start but that doesn't matter too much they switch into a Rhyperia so we're gonna have to switch into the Electrode here and they are resisting the Thunder Shocks but if we can land this Energy Ball this will do absolutely huge damage to the Rhyperia and they don't shield it and we get the defense drop and I'm able to thunder shock farm them down with an electric type that is insane my opponent is completely flustered right now they are shaking in their boots and I go for a wild charge and it gets shielded so I'm in a, a really good position right now this my wild is only at half health but I don't need much health to beat these double dragons here with the ice fangs and the triple resistance to the dragon tail damage my opponent is going to switch into the Dragonite and I'm going to switch into the Bastiodon, preserve a little bit of health on that Marwal so I can save it for the Garchomp later. Dragonite is going to throw a move so I'm going to shield this up. And it's a Hyper Beam so once again my opponent's trying to Hyper Beam a Bastiodon so that is not the play. And I'm going to be able to completely farm them down here, go for a Stone Edge up against this Garchomp. This will do absolutely nothing to Garchomp but I will take any chip damage I can get. And my opponent is going to be able to get to a move here, but I get a smackdown through. And I think I can outpace them to another move. They actually go for a fire blast, which is insane. I'm going for the stone edge here, and this will still not take them out, but I'm going to be able to easily switch into my wall, one more ice fang, and we're able to win with the Great League team in the Master League Premier Classic. And you'll see that was my 999th Master League win. And so going into the very next game, I did crop the footage here because actually I stopped recording because I was just so pleased with that win but this is the very next battle you can see by the time and once again we lead into a Dragonite so dream lead once again and my opponent is staying in and they're actually going to switch into a Dragon Tail Salamence so oh my god this is hilarious I'm able to fully farm them down and I've still got so much health remaining they come in with a charm pre-marina so I'm going to go for the Iron Head here and then switch into the Electrode. Now the Charms are going to do massive damage against Electrode so I think I'll only be able to make it to one move and I expect to get a shield so I'm going to go for the Energy Ball here as it does have a chance to lower the defense and we don't get the defense lower that time round but it doesn't matter too much. We've got a two shield advantage here and we're going to come in with the Bastiodon. We can tank these charms, absolutely no problem. Going to shield this up, it could be a Hydro Pump. 
My opponent baits me with a Moon Blast, but it doesn't really matter. My opponent switches into the Dragonite, so once again, I'm going to preserve the health on this Bastiodon, and then I'm going to switch into the Marwhal here. We switch, and these Ice Fangs absolutely chunk the Dragonite. We take them out before they get to another move. I can go for an Iron Head here. This won't take them out, but it will do massive damage against the Primarina. And it does massive damage, and I do get Charm farmed down. But I'm going to go for a Flamethrower, a Resisted Flamethrower from Bassidon into a Master League Pokemon. And we take them out, and have you ever seen so much disrespect in your life? Probably not, so we're able to get that 1,000th victory in the Master League, and what a way to do it. So going into the final battle of this video, and you're going to see here, we come up against Raiden Butch. <laughs> and we lead into a Dragonite once again. And my opponent stays in, they switch into Togekiss, so I switch into the Bastiodon here, and I notice that my opponent is actually running an Ultra League Togekiss, so either they've chosen the wrong Togekiss, or they just don't have a Master League Togekiss, because in all honesty, like I've dropped so much ELO that I'm going up against Pokemon that don't quite have fully maxed out Pokemon. And as well, I noticed that that first move there wasn't enough for a flamethrower. Once again, this is not going to be enough for a flamethrower. So I'm going to no shield and I can completely farm down the Togekiss here. I have nearly back to back stone edges. They come in with the Gyarados. So yes, I'm finally going up against the triple flyer team. I get the shield, which is perfect. I can come in with the Hisuian Electrode and absolutely wall this Gyarados. I am going to shield this up, they did go for 6 waterfalls so it could be a crunch. My opponent baits me with the Aquatel but that is fine. I'm going to go up and I don't throw the wild charge straight away as I got to back to back because I didn't want to lower my defense on the alignment and possibly take extra damage. We get the shield and my opponent doesn't throw the charge move so I get to another wild charge and boom we take out the Gyarados. I'm going to instant switch into the Marwhile here and I'm going to easily be able to get to this Iron Head and I can even one shield flex with my Great League team against the Master League team and boom we take out the Dragonite and we absolutely demolish the triple flyer team which is exactly the kind of result I wanted when I built this team so there you have it an extremely satisfying way to end the video I know that some of my opponents didn't quite have fully maxed out Pokemon on their team but when you try to win with Great League Pokemon in the Master League Premier Classic for seven days in a row you're gonna drop a lot of hidden elo so at this point I was certainly going up against battlers who perhaps didn't quite have the resources to compete in the Master League hence why they were so low in hidden elo rating but either way I was happy to get these wins of course if I could have gone up against a fully level 40 triple flyer team with my team then I would have much rather done that but I'll take what I got so if you did enjoy today's video then make sure you smash that like button leave a comment letting me know what you thought about these battles and as well don't forget to answer today's question of the day and with that being said let's go on to the shout outs from the previous question of the day so the first response I'm going to be shouting out is from Fly Gonna Get You and they mentioned that the Great League but in the 500 CP bracket so essentially the Little Cup but with all evolutions allowed similar to the Little Jungle Cup but extended to all typings and this would just give the cup a lot more diversity or hopefully it would rather than just being Bronzor and Bronzor counters so yeah I think that would be cool they do make Pokemon Go content on YouTube and as well they recently uploaded a video where they battled me and both of us were running very interesting triple shadow teams so definitely go check them out and check out that video. The next response I'm going to shout out and probably my favourite is going to be Venton D3 and they mention retro but in ultra. Ultra League is dominated by dark steels and fairies so it would make it a really exciting meta and I completely agree. I'm sure there would be a lot of wall rain and Trevenant like they were in the retro Great League Cup that we recently had but still I'm sure there would be a lot of fun to be had if you banned those three typings. Unfortunately they don't make any videos so I'm not going to direct you to their channel. So finally I'm going to be shouting out Yogesh Sharma and they would love to see the Sinnoh Cup in the Ultra League because a lot of the Sinnoh Pokemon, especially the evolutions from previous generations are actually pretty good in the Ultra League so I think that would be really cool and once again they don't make any Pokemon Go YouTube content so I won't be directing you to their 
their channel, but thank you for all of the comments and everyone else that I didn't shout out in this video. I really appreciate all the comments from all of you guys. So with that being said, thank you all so much for watching today's video and I hope you have a great rest of your day.